Selected Poems of Yu Zhuanzi, read and edited by John Burns. Translations by David Young and Jian Ai Lin, Leonard Nga, Jeffrey Waters, Kenneth Rexroth, and David Hinton. A Poem for the Willows by the River Jade green stretches by the river's barren banks. Misty clouds dance themselves into distant mansions. Reflections unfold upon the autumn river. Flowers fall on the heads of fishermen. Old roots hide the haunts of fishes. Branches bend to more visiting boats. The night sighs and sighs with wind and rain. And unsettling dreams only deepen my gloom. The Fragrance of Orchids The body that aches with longing is drunk at dusk and again at dawn. These wild mutual yearnings return to us each spring. There in the rain goes a messenger bearing a passionate letter. Under the open window stands one with a broken heart. Up in the mountains a lover rolls up a pearl screen. Looking out, sadness comes back and comes back, as fragrant and lush as the grass. And we're all walking home in the dark from banquets and celebrations, or watching the quiet dust that sifts down from our roof beams. Tribute to a Master Alchemist The gorgeous coloured clouds stitched into quilted robes. Wonderful perfume coming from a finely woven tapestry. The red hibiscus blooming among its thick green leaves. Mountains and water dressed in a rare embroidered cape. Like stopping short in your tracks to hear the song of a warbler. Or freeing a crane from a cage to watch it fly away. Sleeping alone on a spring night in an old high ceilinged chamber. Or rain that arrives at dusk falling thick and fast. Love Letter to Li Zian I suck melting ice and munch cork bark and still make no sense of my life. Jin Shui River and Huguan Pass keep coming up in my dreams. Jin Xing's mirror is ready to break and I'm sad for the falling magpies. Emperor Shun's zither is tuned and I blame the messenger swans. Polonia leaves by the well cry in the autumn rain. The silver lamp by the window dims in the wind at dawn. I write you letters across great distances and never know if they reach you. Holding a bamboo pole at sunset next to a wide blue river. Boudoir Lament Hands full of herbs, I weep at slanting sunbeams hearing that the husband next door has returned. The day we parted, southern geese had just begun to fly north. This morning, northern geese are flying south again. Spring comes, autumn goes, love sickness remains. Autumn goes, spring comes, letters remain scarce. My vermilion doors are barred and no one comes. Only the sound of falling stones passes my bed curtains. Sending spring love to Tzu An. The mountain path is steep and the stone steps dangerous. But I do not suffer from the hardships of the journey but from love sickness. The mountain torrent that comes from far off melting ice is pure as your spiritual character. When I see the snow on the distant mountains, I think of your jade-like beauty. Do not listen to vulgar songs or drink too much spring wine or play chess all night with idle guests. Steady as a pine, not like a rolling stone, my oath of love is forever. I long for the days when we will be together again, like the birds that fly with one wing in common. I walk alone with my regrets, 
longing all day long at the end of winter for the time when we will be together again under the full moon. What can I give you as a gift of separation? Tears that glitter in the sun on a poem. Sent to a friend in a late spring mood. The chatter of Orioles breaks up my dream. I put on a little makeup to change my tear stained face. A young moon shines through the bamboo shade. The smooth river fumes with late night mist. Swallows are bringing mud in their beaks to pack their nests. Bees are gathering pollen from open flowers. I alone feel yearning without any limit, reciting my own poems, staring up through the pines. Sent to Wen Fei Ching on a winter night. I've wrecked my brains for a poem, chanting here by the lamp, spending a sleepless night away from my chilly quilt. Blown leaves fill the courtyard, the night wind makes me gloomy. Through the cotton curtain and window screen shines a deep and beautiful moon. We're distant and lack leisure time to accomplish our mutual wishes. Love rises and falls like a wave and usually leaves our hearts helpless. A sparrow may live alone, unable to nest in a parasol tree. I heard one chirping at sunset, circling the woods in vain. Answering Li Ying, who showed me his poems about summer fishing. Though we lived in the same lane a whole year we didn't meet, until his tender phrases touched this aging woman, I broke a new cinnamon branch. The Tao nature cheats ice and snow. The enlightened heart laughs at summer silks. Footsteps climb the river of clouds, lost beyond roads in a sea of mist. On a visit to Chung Chen Taoist Temple, I see in the South Hall the list of successful candidates in the imperial examinations. Cloud capped peaks fill the eyes in the spring sunshine. Their names are written in beautiful characters and posted in order of merit. How I hate this silk dress that conceals a poet. I lift my head and read their names in powerless envy. Regretful thoughts. Fallen leaves are scattered by evening rain. I sing and brush red strings alone. Unmoved by heartless friends, I go within, beyond the bitter sea. Outside my gate rumble rich men's carts. By my pillow, Taoist books are rolled. Now in simple cottons, no more a guest of clouds, no more green water and blue hills. Autumn lament, you sigh, you're full of tenderness, it's more than you can bear. Too many love affairs, too much wind and moon, and the courtyard is loaded with autumn. The sound of the water clock is close by, just outside your bridal chamber, and night by night, next to the lamp, your hair is turning white. River Journey We cross the Yangtze diagonally, heading for Wuchang City, passing Parrot Island where thousands of families live. In the early hours, the painted barge has a cargo of lovers and sleepers, and I dream I've become a butterfly seeking the flowers too. Dim mist and we're already sailing into Cormorant Harbour. I thought we were still in the middle somewhere near Parrot Island. I went to bed drunk, lay awake singing all kinds of nonsense, got up on the Hanjiang Riverside, stunned to be back on dry land. Inscribed on a wall at Hidden Mist Pavilion 
Spring blossoms and autumn moons slip so easily into poems. Bright days and crystalline nights, their sage immortals scattered here. Aimless, I raised pearl blinds for emptiness and moved my bed mat to stay. I sleep facing mountains now. On a meeting with a friend, called off because of rain. The goose and the fish have borne meaningless letters. The banquet laments our lack of a meeting. Closing the door to my moonlit cage, I raise the blinds, tattered and threadbare. Nearby springs are singing in their channels. Distant waves brim the river's banks. Homesick and sad, this autumn traveller unhappily chants her five-character poems. Visiting Master Chow and not finding him. Where might you be with your immortal companions? Only your servant is home. You've left herbs cooking on the warm brazier, tea leaves brewing in the next courtyard. The painted walls start to fade in the lamplight. Your flagstaff's shadow begins to slant. Again and again I look around, but beyond the wall, only flowers. Free of all those hopes and fears. Nothing needs doing. I'm idle and free now. Wandering landscapes, all wind rinsed light. River moon floating among broken clouds, boat unmoored and drifting some vast lake. I play my chin in a Buddhist temple's quiet, chant poems off an ancient general's tower, or take thickets of flute bamboo for friends and flakes of chimestone as kindred spirits. Done chasing after silver and gold fortunes, I make swallows and sparrows all my wealth. Fill cups with the greens of springtime wine and face moon in a window's dark mystery. Or circle a pool, depths clearing. A reflection in water flowing thin, I take out my hairpins, then lie in bed with books scattered around. Maybe rise half drunk to comb out my hair. Sent to Fei Ching By the stone steps, a confusion of crickets Out in the courtyard, misty, dew-drenched branches Music from the house next door echoes in the moonlight Hills seen from the room above shimmer in the distance A cool breeze softly strokes the precious bamboo mat The jade-like chin pours forth sorrow it seems that you, sir, are too lazy to write letters. Lesser things, I guess, will have to soothe these autumn feelings. Living in the mountains in summer. I've moved, and now I live up here where gods could make their homes. The shrubs and thickets mix and bloom. Nobody had to plant them. The little tree in the courtyard is where I hang my laundry. All the wine I can drink from this mountain spring I sit by. My windows and my hallways go deep through the bamboo trail. I use my silky clothes to wrap up heaps of scattered books, rowing out idly in my decorated boat, chanting poems to the radiant moon and the light breeze blows and blows, I can trust it to bring me back. Joining somebody's morning. You've seen her, bloom of the peach, posture graceful as jade, breeze through willows and poplars, delicate arch of the eyebrows, pearl hoard in a dragon's cave, that shock of recognition glimpsed in the mirror at state functions, happy among the chit-chat now changed to a sombre dream, lost in mist on a rainy night, 
hating to hear the story of bitter times and solitude, hills to the west sunset, hills to the east moonrise, and thoughts of loss that are never going to end. An Allegory Red peaches everywhere, the colour of spring. Jade willows by every house gleam in the moonlight. A freshly made-up woman waits upstairs for nightfall. Another sits lonely in her room, filled with love. Beneath the moon, fish are playing among the lotuses. From a distant rainbow, the sound of sparrows chirping. Human life, a dream of joy and sorrow mingled. Why is it that, gaining one, the other also comes? Farewell. I spent those nights of comfort in the Chin Tower, without ever realising my lover had to go. Waking now, I don't ask where the clouds have gone. Round the lamp, now almost spent, a wild moth is circling. Saying goodbye. Softly the water chases itself, knowing it's hard to be settled and certain. Clouds arrive without any plan, and we wish we could call them back. A desolate spring breeze, the Yangtze stretched out in the twilight, and a mandarin duck swimming alone, its flock already gone. Letter to an exam candidate from Shangxi to the capital. I've stayed at home here idle, mostly composing poems for several sorrowful years, gazing out toward the Wangwu Mountains, site of our old excursions, reciting my verses facing east, facing west, mixed up, a mountain range with a thousand peaks, or a horse that wanders south and then heads north, whichever way the brook flows. Remembering rainy nights we two spent together feasting, and then, after saying goodbye in the blossom season, climbing the stairs alone, and the sudden knock on the door, a oh happy little door, announcing your arrival, and the quiet lane where our secluded house was set apart for love. Zhang Gru's loot has stopped, its red strings snapped, a pair of nesting swallows separate in the white dew of autumn. Don't forget about your rural friend. Visit once in a while. Every spring there's busy traffic here in the Yangtze Delta. You can catch a ride. After his poems, following its rhymes. Men robed purple and red make this world a din of confusion. Here alone, amid colours of moonlight, I offer crystalline chants. Done wanting some jade pure man, done chasing elegant ideas. I just scribble out poems, go around visiting brushwood gates, and even simple blossoms bring on hymns of praise and thanks. I'm another Yen Hui mastering delusion deep in a meagre lane, and not aching to see you. Not a creeper in need of a tall pine. To live the loftiest of lives, all I need is the mountain out front. Three beautiful sisters, orphaned young. We used to hear about the South, its splendid, fresh appearance. Now it's these eastern neighbours, these sisters three, up in the loft inspecting their trousseaus, reciting a verse about parrots, sitting by blue-green windows embroidering phoenix garments, their courtyard filled with colourful petals like red smoke billowing unevenly, their cups full of good green wine tasted one by one. It's dreadful staring into the mystic pond, knowing you'll always be female, banished from heaven, stuck in this life, unable to do what men do, a poet who happens to have some beauty ends up being compared to a gorgeous woman who's silent. That makes me feel ashamed. 
me singing solo love songs upon this vanishing zither, plucking the four strings softly, murmuring the words, facing my mirror and dressing table to admire my black silk hair as if I could rival the moon by flaunting a white jade hairpin. A little cave among the pines where dew drips down, the sky above the willows, a great net filled with mist. When you can be like the rain, your heart will have strength to go on, and you won't be afraid to blow the flute before you've fully mastered it. My mother would get upset because I talked to flowers, and my lover was from the past, a poet who came to me in dreams. The spirit makes fine, fresh verses, and then is broken. It's like watching a lovely young woman give up her will to live. These gorgeous young creatures, who knows what they'll come to. The clouds float north, the clouds float south. <laughs>